The Beijing torch arrived in San Francisco tonight, the next stop on his disastrous journey around the world. There have already been demonstrations on the Golden Gate Bridge, and should there be more trouble tomorrow, this could be the last foreign city it visits. Peace and harmony were meant to be the watchwords of this gathering of the Olympic movement in Beijing. With a pat on the back for the Chinese, four months before the Games. But that tune has dramatically changed. Talking to IOC members here, I've been told that China was repeatedly warned by high Olympic officials not to have an international torch relay. The talk here now is that the Olympic brand has been damaged. And there's a growing feeling that should San Francisco go the way of Paris or London, Beijing's international torch relay may have to be curtailed, if not cancelled. A decision on that might be taken later this week, when International Olympic Committee President Jacques Rogge chairs an executive board meeting. We'll discuss this and we'll see uh, what uh, we have to look at after this, I think now sixth or the seventh leg, and we'll see uh, what kind of conclusions we have to take from that. The protest began as soon as the flame was lit in Olympia, the birthplace of the Olympics. It intensified through its 31-mile ordeal through London. Someone has tried to grab the torch from Connie Huck. And the flame itself was extinguished during its troubled passage through Paris. All this has made even great Olympians question whether the journey is worthwhile. Having seen what I've seen and witnessed on Sunday, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, people that are lining the streets to see the torch for the right reasons um, aren't getting the opportunity to be, feel that Olympic um, spirit and possibly not even see the torch at all. Jacques Rong and the IOC must now decide how best to restore the tarnished image of the Olympic movement. Mihir Bose, BBC News, Beijing.